There we go, and now check and take. Is he really not gonna resign? He has that much disrespect? Wow, this guy's apparently not in a good mood. Of course I do. Again, we go again, right? What time is it in India? It is currently 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Okay, right where uh, Angel wants to play. Okay, let's play some games against Angel. Let's play E4. Now, again, as you guys might have noticed, my rating is up to 3201. So I actually, um, I played some Blitz the other day and I gained about 70 points. Um, 770. So that's why you guys are probably looking at my rating. You're like, wait a second. He was 3130 and playing terribly. And... And now suddenly he's like he's 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 doing really well again, and that's because wait, what is this? Wait 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 he's he got all sneaky here. Wait I have to be careful. No let's cast because I have queen d3. Wait. Yeah, I'm a diehard Jets fan. No I was a um I did watch the Jets in the late '90s when they had Vinny Testaverde who was the quarterback um of the of the jets and they were they were pretty good and of course there was there's chad the one and only chad who can forget him uh chad pennington of course uh let's go here maybe f3 so yeah but with chad like what what can i say chad was an amazing quarterback exactly exactly you guys so yeah that's how it goes So, all right, anyway, where were we? Bishop e6. I assume f3 should be right. I want to build a nice little chain. He goes there. Now, I have a big question, which rook do I put? I think I'm going to put... Uh, I see his idea, though. He wants to play for d5, so I think I should play a3. Because if I play rook d... If I played rook d1 right away, it's no good. But now I've got the chain. I've got the grip in the center as well. Again, it's always a question which rook to bring, but I don't see any future on the A, B, or C file, so it has to be A rook being correct to the D file. And now I'll play B3, consolidate, upon. Probably I'll go rook D2, rook D1. This feels like an L Magnusian kind of position. I'm going to go here, stack the two towers. Maybe I should have gone rook D3, rook D1, queen D2 to line up the legendary triple stack, but I think a double stack is also good. I mean, I don't know. Dave Thomas might disagree, but I think the double stack is good. So let's go for... What? Can I not count... I mean, I, maybe this is no good. This doesn't look right, though, to me. Wait a second. This should be good for me. I just have to be very, very precise. How do I do this? A4 is not right. Rook D3 is a move. Bishop D2 is also a move. I don't want to burn too much clock. That is the one danger here. Um, Knight of 5. I'm going to trust my instinct that Knight of 5 is right somehow. Because I, I have to play against these kingside pawns if I can. Yeah, I expected that. I'll go here, target the pawn on a7. I mean, I have knight... Okay, so I take... I'm still g6, I can take on h6. If I get g4 or h4, I think I'm actually just great. I think I'm actually golden if I get those moves in. Okay, there's rook d8, which is logical. Oh, I didn't even see rook d8. That's kind of annoying. Okay, let's go h4. This way, h6 is always loose. Okay, it goes there. I'll drop back. He takes. Yeah, I don't want to trade, but I think I have to trade. Probably only a draw, but the show goes on. I mean, I have bishop c7. I can play on for a long time here. Let's go here. Target the pawn. I'm trying to create some weaknesses if I can. Yeah, that's a good move, too. I guess I'll go here to guard. Hey, wait, doesn't... Oh, wait, that doesn't hang upon. What am I doing? Okay, I guess I take and just make the draw. I'm down on clocks. So there's just no chance of me winning this. Bring the king closer. Bring the bishop back. I'll go g4 just to grip the, uh, grip the squares. There's just nothing happening here, though. I saw it. Gonna try to play on, but there's almost no chance of me winning this. Plays e4, which is interesting. I think that might be a mistake. That might be a mistake, actually, by him. So I get king g3. 
I think he made a slight mistake. I go here on bishop e3. It's still probably a draw, but... I think I'm gonna go this way, actually. And then I'm gonna go this way, maybe. Okay, how do I win this way to some ways? Now, this is winning, I just have to be precise. Trip E3 is wrong. Okay, wait. Why did I... No, I misplayed this. Completely. It's still a draw. Oh, and I... Okay, now I just have to make a draw. Yeah, I misplayed this. Yeah. Yeah, terrible. Let's keep going. Not good. Uh, let's play C6D5. I was winning there for one move, I think. I think for one move, I probably was winning with the precise technique. I'll take with the queen. Let's go here, knight f6, of course. I'll go bishop d6. Why not? I can obviously take or castle. I'll drop back. Why not? There's a three. Of course, I just castle. I think rook d8 is probably correct. Okay, I'll go queen c7, knight d7, knight f8. Again, nothing too exciting so far, but the show goes on. Who's this GM? Uh, this is an Armenian GM. I don't... I think it's a Kobian, maybe? It's one of the Armenians. I don't know which one it is specifically. Uh, I'll just go here. Probably I should have taken first, but whatever. So I'll go back to f8. e7 is also fine. Let's go back. Let's drop back. A little bit passive, but he's creating weaknesses on the king side and in the center. Definitely pushing the pawns from the king, creating weaknesses. I mean, I feel like I should be fine here. I can play b5, maybe. Kind of like b5, just because I want to play on the queen side here. I'm going to go a5 and takes. And I think this is in my favor. I think it's bank error in your favor because I have a knight, knight jump here that I think he missed. Yeah, once I get the knight jump, I think he's in a lot of trouble here. Uh, uh, Hacopium? Yeah, it could be Vladimir Hacopium, but I don't think it's Hacopium. I think it's... I, I think it's... I, I, I forget who it is exactly, but it's, it's, it's one of these Armenian dudes. Try and figure out what he's going to play, actually. That's what I'm thinking about here while he's thinking. Okay, so I take. So I take, of course. I think that was a mistake. Um, I think I just take. Uh, I guess I go here, hit the queen and the bishop, take the pawn, swing the rook over. I mean, this... This should be good for me, although I realize I missed knight e5, which is kind of unfortunate, to put it mildly. Like, maybe more than a little unfortunate. That was so stupid by me. Knight f4, queen f4. If I move the queen, there are no tricks. Rook a7. Okay, 7, bishop f3. Shoot, I guess I go back. I totally bungled this. Completely bungled this. Um... I go here. I missed this knight e5 move where I wouldn't have taken on c3. I would have just taken c6. Takes. Now, this is interesting, but I guess I just take. Takes, which is also interesting. c5 maybe is a move here? No, is rook a1? Queen d4? I hope this is okay. I can't actually calculate, but I think this is okay. No, it's not. That was another bad move, too. I should have gone bishop e4. Shoot, I am actually just missing everything. This is very frustrating. Oh, and I'm just I'm just losing any... Yeah, gross. Okay, I got to reset. I'm just throwing these games away for no reason. Terrible game. 
So let's reset. I was winning the first game, so I just need to I need to just play a but play a better for play a better game with white here. I was very careless. Yeah, if I just take the pawn on c6, I, w I was just completely fine. I don't know why I took the knight on c3. I just missed knight e5. Very stupid. Alright, it's castle. I'll go back. Keep it simple. Actually, let's play a4. Probably not so good. Stops b5, but... Mm. Yeah, let's go back and play knight e2, knight g3. c3, d4, all always incoming. I still b4, maybe. Let's go knight g3, rook e1. Starting to look more and more like a nor just a normal chess position, like an Italian here. Let's go. I guess I'll play Queen C2. Probably B4, maybe B5. I always have takes here as well, which is a little bit unclear. I'm gonna go A5. Keep expanding on the Queen side. I guess King H2. I don't even know if it's necessary, but probably it stops some stuff here. I have four. I'll go Knight G1 just to hold everything. Play. Uh, um, wait, what am I doing? Let's go bishop e3. This game also not playing this very well. Probably I'll go rook d1 next move, keep it simple. Somebody does. Shame after beating Ali Reza to throw it away, but it's what it is. Go rook d1. Probably I'm going to play d4 somewhere, or c4 is also a move, maybe. Hard to judge, but I'm up 20 seconds on the clock here, so I just need to be precise and good things will happen. That's really all there is to it. You can also put the king on h1. Okay, he goes queen c8, so I think I'm going to play c4 and ask him what he's doing here. Because there's a lot of pressure in the center now, so it's very hard for both sides to figure out what exactly they're doing. So he does take, so I'll take. I do feel like I should be better here somehow. He's got a passive bishop. I have activity. This doesn't feel quite right to me. How do I do this? I feel like I'm better. I just have to be very precise. If I take and play c5 maybe, then he gets queen d3. So I don't really want to do that either. I Oh, right. I can't play knight f3. What am I doing? Okay, if I take and play like knight f3, queen d3. Okay, I mean, I know I should be better here somehow, but I just can't quite figure it out. So I guess I'll... And now I just blunder... Oh, yeah, yeah. What is wrong with me? I'm just out of it. I just hang a pawn for no reason. Ridiculous. <laughs> and it's an important pawn at that. I just hang, I hang a pawn that was very important in the position. Um, let's go here. Oh, disgusting. I mean, maybe I'm losing here somehow, but I don't, I don't see it, so. I also could have just, I think I also could have just taken maybe on f4, but whatever. King h2 and I pretend that I'm okay. Should have gone to d1 also. Takes, okay, so I can take with the knight or the queen. Knight takes loses though, I think. So I gotta take with the queen, okay. Still worse, but I can pretend maybe. Oh, queen f2 is probably better also, but whatever. The show goes on, I can still play. As long as I'm not getting mated here, the show goes on. Here. It's funny, because since he's up the pawn, he's gonna now feel a big urge to uh, go crazy. C5, interesting. Take and go like knight c3, knight d5. Oh, I could have taken an... Oh, wait, no, check. You had queen f8. Never mind. Okay, so e4. Of course, I go f4. So knight d5, obviously. Don't have c5. I mean, I know I've got play here. I just have to find the right line. Just take. Just a pawn. I mean, take this there. So I check and again another mistake by me. Go here, but I'm up on clock. I'm panicking way too much considering how much time I'm up. Go 
And that's GG. There we go. There we go. And I just block. There we go. Good stuff. Not a good game, but it's a win. It's all you can ask for sometimes. Okay, let's get back to basics. I mean, I was better in that last game, so... Let's play a Karokan again. Play Knight F6. So I'll take with the E Pawn. I, I don't even know if it's right, but I'll do it. Trick E8, why not? I guess I'll go Bishop H5, G4, Bishop G6, maybe. Wait, but this hangs. Does this hang after or not? Wait a second. Okay, wait. Takes Queen B7. 7, Knight D7, GF3. If I'm not going to play this like uh, in the spirit of the position, then so be it. I think I have to just play this in the spirit of the position. I mean, he's, he's got very, very bad pawns on the queen side, on the king side. And intuitively, I feel like this should be good. Maybe in a, in a classical game, I don't know. I think this might be okay for white. In a blitz game, I find it hard to believe that this isn't just great for black. Thanks so much to Ch Chess Brainiac. I was about to flub it again and say cheese for some reason. I think so much to Chess Brainiac for the resub. Okay. Knight b6, b4, is that his... Um, I, I also can go rookie 7. Yeah, let's just go here. Thanks so much to Chess Brainiac. I was about to mess it up again and say cheese. Okay, it goes b4, but somehow, I don't know. I don't believe in this, but... Let's take... I don't know where I'm going with my rook. That's actually the other problem. I, I don't know where I'm going. My instinct is that I should go to c7. Just my instinct. But f8 also makes sense. Um, just, hmm, I guess I'll go to c7. I don't know. Somehow I think I have to keep this diagonal. If I don't keep this diagonal in play, it just can't be right. I mean, you can obviously take the pawn. It goes queen a6. So let's give me queen d5. Like. I don't know, I've got to go for it. This is wrong, it's wrong. I'm probably going here, takes, and something nasty. Takes, queen h3. This looks pretty scary for white, actually. Queen h3, and there's all kinds of nastiness down here. If this isn't winning, it's not winning, but that's life. I, my, my instinct is that this has to be right, though. Seems right, at least to me, optically. Yeah, I take bishop e3, then I check and rook, rook 2. I mean, looks very scary. King g1 takes takes rook b2, also looks winning. Yeah, I think this is just winning for me. Plays queen c6. Oh, that's... But that doesn't do anything. If I go rook c8, what's his move? Uh, he has queen d5 or something? This guy's very tricky. Very, very clever, his play. If I take and play queen h3, it's bishop f4. That's wrong. Okay, wait. I know, this looks right. Oh, I missed queen d7. Oh my gosh, what did I just... Oh my gosh, I just missed that completely. Ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I just threw this game away, I guess. <sighs> what am I doing? I was supposed to go rookie 7. That was so stupid of me. I just forgot about queen d7, and now I'm just, like, lost. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. Wait, no, I have rook d8? Yeah, I'm just lost. I mean, I just flubbed this so badly. d5. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. Like, bad by me. Yeah, it's just t terrible. Um, so stupid. Oh my gosh, what the heck was this? So careless too. I mean, I played a great game to outplay him and now... Throw it all away. Okay, 
continue my trend of bad chess. Which is, what is that? Can you four? Let's go here. Yeah, of course he has bishop b3, which I missed. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. <sighs> Horrible. Yeah, I blundered this too. It's terrible chess by me. Continuing my trend of just playing bad chess. Oh, ridiculous. Probably I was winning that game. Just instead of rook c8, rook e7. Just rook e7. Rook e7, and then I just play queen h3. Playing terrible. Probably like two more. Once I actually get to a plus score, I'll probably stop against this guy. But I'm playing bad chess again, which is really kind of depressing. Go here and take. Depressing in the sense that like, I played poorly in the event. So like to start to play poorly in this too is a little bit annoying. Um, let's, let's drop the bishop back to a2. So rook e1. Also because I played well against Ali Reza before, so it's kind of annoying from that standpoint as well. Probably I'm going to go c4 here. I'm going to go back, maybe d4. My bishop on a2 is pretty bad here. Hmm. Yeah, knight h5. I can play knight g5. I think I actually should. I think I gotta go for something really fast here before I end up in a bad position. Knight g1 and g3 was okay too, I guess. But he goes knight f4. I'll take. He takes as expected. I can play g3. But even this is really ugly. We'll go rook g1. Yeah, he goes queen f6. I'm gonna reroute my bishop, I guess, if I can. He's gonna play queen g7 trade, and probably it's gonna be a draw. Not very happy again with my play. Let's go rook c1 and take. g7, I mean, I kind of have to take, and I guess I'll go here and take. I mean, b4 I take, and it's not so clean. There's rook a5. And if I don't take, what am I playing for, I guess? Let's go rook b1, though. It seems okay. Oh, I could have just taken... Oh, my! I had taken some bishop a4. What, what? What's wrong with me? Seriously. That was a free pawn. I mean, it's... Uh, let's go here. So stupid. Okay, I'll take with the pawn, I guess. Go b4. This guy is playing well, he's playing better than I am right now, that's for sure. If I play c5, rook c8. You can play f3 maybe. Yeah, I'll go, I guess I'll go f3. And rook c1. b5, c5, and I mean, just a draw, but not much more I can do anyway. I guess I'll go here and rook b1. And I'm also down on time again, like in every other game, which is really not. Uh, what am I doing? Let's just go here. We'll go here and king h3, g4 maybe or something. But, I mean, this is obviously just a draw. Wait, although maybe now I have rook b5. No, that doesn't even do anything. I mean, I guess I'm trying to flag him, but it's not like I have anything anyway. Mm, I have to make a draw. Very, very bad chess by me. Just playing horrible. But um, but um, yeah, not good. 
I'll play the same line. I mean, again, I've been beating him both games with black until I blundered, so I'll do the same thing. I mean, I was beating him for sure in that last game. 100% that had to be good for me. Let's go 97. He's going to play Bishop F5. That's a ridiculous move. Just rook E8. Alright, F8, and now Bishop G6. I also had G6 maybe was a move. Okay, that's... A good G6 here. Bishop G4 takes, takes. Again, I'm gonna trust my instinct that he doesn't know what he's doing. This doesn't look right at all. G5, I mean, this just doesn't look right somehow. But maybe I don't understand anything. It's always possible that... I don't understand anything either. This doesn't look right for him though. Maybe bishop f8 at some point also makes sense. Bishop h6? That looks wrong, but I don't know how I'm supposed to exploit it. It doesn't look right. Really doesn't look right somehow. Maybe it just... Before... This doesn't look right. And again, though, I'm thinking too long. Actually, this is how I do it. Yeah, this is how I do it. Because I take with a pawn and go e5. e5, fe5, bishop moves. Yeah, and I have e5. There we go. Finally, I actually use the time at the right moment, and I and I finally punish him. See, he, he can't take, and I get the fork with e4. Finally. Finally starting to wake up. We'll see what he does here. Takes with a pawn. So now the key here is that I don't get careless and mess this up. That's really the big key. Let's just go rook d8. Logical. Let's go queen e6. Take the squares in the center. I have queen e2. d5 I take. Queen e2 he still has rook d2 though, so I'm not thrilled by that. How do I do this actually? This is interesting. I'm definitely much better. But I have to prove it still, which is kind of annoying. I don't have rook f8. Maybe this is a blunder, but it looks okay. I mean, my queen's getting back in. Yeah, he's got bishop a3 or something too, of course. But I'm still, jeez. I mean, I'm better, but I'm kind of messing this up. So, yeah, see, I've totally messed this up. Somehow I'm still, I'm like, really messing this up. Um, do I have rookie one? No, I don't. I guess I'll just go here. And it's got this, and now, like, I guess I'm gonna run with my king or something stupid, but it's just ridiculous what I've done to this game as well. Still probably winning, but I mean, again, don't know why I allowed any of this. My technique, again, has not been very good. I go here, centralize the queen so the king is very safe. So take the pawn, of course. How do I do this? H4 is no good. King E6 is a move. Rook G. Maybe it's Rook G8. Go here and Rook F7 or something. I mean, again, like. Okay, finally blunders. Why 
What the heck am I doing? Jeez. Ridiculous. Finally a blender. My technique is just so bad. <sighs> Horrible. There we go. Okay, this should be the right color pawn. There we go, checkmate. Even that game, I really messed it up. But we got the win. Even that game, I let that get way too close for comfort. Like, that was obscenely close. Not good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think at home I would have won that with like five seconds, but... Yikes. Big yikes. Um, now he plays rookie eight, which is a mistake. Maybe a mistake is too strong. Seven, okay, I'm gonna go here and not four. Go back. Don't believe this is okay. I think I play bishop takes a four. <gasps> oh my god, what the heck? Jeez, what am I doing? Oh my god, I just. Did I just blunder? Supposed to take and play d4. What the heck did I just do? What the heck was that? I just blundered for no reason. <laughs> what the heck am I doing? I was I was supposed to take and play play d4 and then bishop f4. I just forgot he had d5. Wow, so bad. I still have chances to swindle him, but that was terrible. Abysmally bad by me. I mean, the funny thing is there still are some chances to swindle him, though. Yeah, I go queen g6. Is it queen f6 or something? Yeah, not good. Go back. There still are tricks here. That's the only the one good thing. Should she six? Okay, e one. Bishop f seven. I'm just cooked. I don't know tricks here. with c4 or something to confuse the matters, but that's not going to do anything. I'll go back. I just have to move fast and hope for some miracles here. I mean, there, there's tricks now, like rook d1. Missing everything. Queen G, Rook G6. That looks slightly wrong. Wait. Go here. Oh, he's just got knight d4. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? 
I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah. What the heck was that? Continuing to play very, very poorly here. Yeah, I mean, what even the heck is this? Yeah, I don't even know what I did. It's so absurd. I mean, obviously I'm lost here somehow. So stupid. I just can't play good chess. <sighs> terrible. No, I mean, I, I, I'm just playing terrible chess right now. Not playing good chess. Play three more and then I'm stopping. I'll, I'll get it to a plus score and then I'm just going to stop because I'm obviously not on my game at all today. If I play fast, I'll just beat him, but I'm just playing I'm playing slow and bad, which is never a good recipe. Oh, what is that? That's nothing. Let's play rook c8. And play b6. I just have to move fast. I have to move faster and just play good moves instead of playing bad moves. Seem to move quick. He does play e4, so I take. Go here and take. It's gotta move fast. It was bishop d6, which I don't think is it's a move. Um the problem is my pawns. Take and play queen d7. Or d8. Actually, I think I should go to d8 because the knight on d5 will always cover, and I think I want squares in this diagonal. Could have played knight e8 again, but let's go here. Takes. Problem is my rooks aren't good either. D4 logical. I can play f5 if I want to. Might be the best move, actually, because now the knight is maybe stuck on d6 in the long run. Maybe. Here's rook f6. Queen g5, some, some tricks, maybe. And that's just a blunder that hangs a rook. So you just gotta play fast and play good instead of playing fast and playing bad. Yeah. Okay. So one of three, let's let's keep going. Just gotta play two more good games. Yeah, queen h6. And that's game. And this time at least he, he it just ends the game. He, there's no chance for any kind of extra play for, for white. Okay. Just play good. Yeah, I mean playing good is one thing, but Problem is I'm playing fast and bad. Playing fast and good is, is obviously great, but when you're when you're playing fast and bad, that's not what you want to do. Okay, so let's let's reset. He's playing bishop c5, d3. It's all correct. H3. I'm just gonna play knight e2 in castles this time. A5. I can play a4. I think a3 is okay. 
possibly king h1 and f4 maybe. Go f4. This actually looks very pleasant for me. This looks like a very, very nice position. I can take and play bishop g5 even. Is that crushing or not? Takes, takes, bishop g5, takes, takes, takes. I think this is just bad for black. I mean, maybe he can take first and move the knight, but either way, this doesn't look good. Like takes, I mean, just takes, knight g3, knight h5. I mean, this, this should just be great for me. If it's not, so be it. That's, uh, I'll live with it. But I mean, this just looks terrible. Knight g3, knight h5, maybe rook f6 even at some point. Of course I take, that's the whole point. Knight g3, knight h5, queen f3. Question is, do I go queen f3? Queen f3 and, or actually no, knight h5 is just fine. Cause f5 I just take and I get another square for the knight. Okay, so it plays bishop d8, so I'll go queen f3. More pressure. Uh, but if I take, it's not so clean, hmm. Hmm, this is actually not trivial, weirdly. So I'll go here. Maybe try to rotate the other knight around. Somehow this is not as simple as it should be. This really should just be like really good for me. Very strange. Plays rook g6. Now d4 is not a move, I don't think. So I'm gonna play rook d1. I can play b4 if I want. I think b4 makes sense. I just want to go d4 and open up the file. Hard to believe this isn't just really good for me. Let's see what he does. Instinctively, this just looks really, really good. And in a blitz game, this should probably be winning. Take. Up 20 seconds. So I take. I go d4, of course. Have to open it up. I have knight f4, knight d4. I also have something else. Knight d4, e5 is all, no, knight f4 is a move. c4, e5. Okay, he goes bishop c7, he's trying to line up uh, tricks. So I take, and then I go e5, rook g8. Takes, takes, knight f6, queen e5, doesn't look right. Feels like this should be winning somehow for me. But I don't see it immediately, it's crazy. e5, rook f8. Oh, e5, queen e5 even? Jeez. Or no, um... <sighs> this is where I have to find some moves and I'm just not finding them, so I'm gonna play knight f4. Again, I burned half a minute there. Very, very poor time usage to find a move that was not right. Four. I guess I'll go here and I think that was that was not best. Now I go knight f five and knight d six maybe. I also had b three there maybe, which was also maybe a good move, just to tickle the bishop. But regardless, this still should be good for me. Knight h4. Bishop e6 was definitely not the best move. I'm gonna win the pawn, and now I think I will actually win the game most likely. Wait, that's, that's a rook. And that's a pawn, and that's game. There we go. Yeah, it takes, and. Okay, and rook d8, just get rid of the rooks. Let's just go. Rook f4, rook h4 ideas. Why did I do that? What the heck? I'm still probably winning, but I'm making a total hash out of this. Um, let's just go here, I guess. My technique has been so bad, so, so bad. But now now I think I clean it up, because queen e3, I have queen f3. And now I'm only down 14 seconds, I get to move the king, and now, now he's the one who has to defend, and this should be very straightforward. Go e5, rook f6. I have h4 also. Let's go h4 and then queen f4. Let's 
Let's take I just go king h3 and it's very simple. Not that this is actually the easiest way to win either, but but this will be pretty simple. All right, we get another win. go and now check and take is he really not gonna resign he has that much disrespect wow this guy's apparently not in a good mood really down five seconds and down a queen he's playing on yeah ridiculous let's go to about five and e6 Go here. Um, this will play this one. All, all moves are playable. G5, it should be H7, C5, A6. I mean, everything's really playable here. Okay, now I can obviously trade. Uh, he wants to play for this one, which. Let's go here. Yeah, Knight C2, I expected that. Pretty standard so far. I can play C4, but I don't like it. I think. I don't remember. I think I've actually already just bungled this line. Just take, I guess, and play like queen b6. I think I'm gonna castle here. b4, yeah, that's a very logical move. Actually, why did I do this? This already looks absolutely ridiculous for me. Yeah, this looks terrible. I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> I mean, I guess I take and go. I mean, you can take both ways. I don't know which one's right. Probably B takes a safer, but I'll go here. I'm mean, gonna have to be very careful to not just like get checkmated or something in this position. I'm trying to go, uh, go F6 here. Like F4. Pretty gross. It was 96. Can obviously. Take. And I think I will take, because at least now I can maybe put um, something in the center. I guess I'll go here. I'm way down on clock again, though. The problem is now I'm just super low on clock, so I, I just have to move fast. Let's go here, and I see four and e5. Just simple chess. I don't even know why I put the rook on e8. I should put the rook on d8 or anywhere but e8. Knight a5 right away was also probably just a much better move. If I go king a8 and rook b8, I'm maybe hanging on somehow. Maybe. Okay, let's go king a8. Rook b8, of course. I mean, I'm trying to hang on here. Thing is, he's going to have to burn a lot of clock here trying to find something that's not... Not very obvious to me. Okay, go a6 and rook c8. Oh, he plays rook. Now, the thing is, I can probably. Taking is very uh, bold. But I don't see the win for white, so I'm going to go for it. Let's go back. I mean, if I get rook c8, rook c6, I'm still not great, but I think I'm holding here. Yeah, I think I'm actually kind of okay somehow after rook c6. Once I get rook c6, queen b3. So he's trying to do something here. Now I can maybe go e5, actually. Wait, but if I play king a7, I think this is okay. It's not a blunder. Oh, no, he's got rook a6. Um... Got to move. one logical so let's play 
I don't know, King A8 or something. Problem is if I ever go E5, they're tricks. So let's just go here. Is there an actual trick here? I don't see it. So I'm gonna go here and King B. I'm probably actually, I think I run my King out. What am I doing? Yeah, I think I just run the King out now. This is actually how I should do it. And now I go B5 and I go King B7 and I think I'm actually just completely fine here. Oh, but I blundered. Oh, great. I just blundered Bishop H6. So stupid. Just so stupid. I'll go E4 here. Go B4. Oh man, I blundered this too, jeez. Although wait, I have rook G8 maybe? Wait. Wait, maybe it's okay. Wait, no, no, that's... I gotta move though, I gotta move. Um, okay, now I'm just checkmating him, though. Yeah, now I'm mating him. Good. There we go. He just walked into it. Good. <sighs> Not a good game either, but it's a win. Not a good game. But finally, I mean, I'm playing marginally better, and he's actually, his quality is dipping now, which is... The reason that I'm probably gonna win this game. He probably could have made a queen on d8. I would have had to take a draw, I think, but he didn't do it, so let's keep going. He didn't do it, so let's keep going. Oh, is he done? Oh, maybe he's done at 10. Eh, possibly. That's what it looks like. Eh, not, not very good. Definitely not, 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 not what I'm hoping for, but. Anyway, you guys, that is how it goes. All right, so Rage Quit, yeah. I mean, he, he, he was better than me, but at the end of the day, um, he got himself too long time. Maybe... No, no, what am I doing? No, I, I don't want to play it. So, all right, you guys, on that note, I'm going to I'm gonna call it a day. I know it's a relatively short stream, um, but I'm going to call it a day. I probably will, I, I guess, actually, let's be clear. So I will not do any recaps, except maybe after the final day of Blitz here, because frankly, I'm just too jet lagged, too out of it. And um, so even if I do well tomorrow on the Blitz, you probably won't get a recap. I might do a recap um, after the final day. If not, I'll be back home and streaming on Wednesday, which will be December, December... Uh, seventh at the very least so if i don't see you guys until then hope you guys have enjoyed um have enjoyed all the good times here i know it's a relatively short stream but it seems to have gone okay so i will see you guys all in a few days so have a good one and um that's it peace out everyone bye